if someone's thyroid antibodies are 100 and someone else's thyroid antibodies are 1000, who do you think is gonna have more Hashimoto symptoms? So this is a little bit of a tricky question because the answer to that, it depends on the person. Now, what's really important to know is that thyroid antibodies are so, so important and they show that there's an attack on the thyroid, which is why we have to test them and we have to track them. Even if your doctor says they're not important, that is not true. They're extremely, extremely, extremely important. But in terms of symptoms, you can only compare you to you because it's how your immune system is actually responding and dealing with those antibodies. So it is possible that someone's antibodies, if they're a thousand, they may actually have less symptoms than someone else whose antibodies are 100, which is why you can't compare you to your mother, your sister, your neighbor, or your friend, right? But it is very, very important that you track your own antibodies. I like to keep a little spreadsheet and I test them every couple of months, especially if I'm doing different protocols so that I can see where they are. Now, the thing that are very helpful for antibodies are looking at the foods that you're eating so you're not eating foods that you're sensitive to. It's looking at different triggers like toxins you may have or infections like H. pylori or Epstein-Barr. Also looking at stressors. So not just that, yes, you have a lot going on, but emotional stressors as well. The friendships that you have, the relationships that you have, how well you're actually expressing yourself, how well you can really truly be yourself, that also contributes to a lot of stress. And then there's a few nutrients that have also been studied to help balance the immune system and can even lower thyroid antibodies. Selenium is one of them and inositol is another. Actually, both of those are in Thyrolove so that it's supporting both your thyroid and your immune system.